So this week is totally story week because we all have stories because there's no way to not have a story here. We're gonna be telling those stories. Actually, one. We're gonna choose one. Actually, you can find some other stories that I have to tell on my personal blog in the underbar if you want. There's like ones where I almost broke a hostel elevator door and the first time I got lost, which might be super helpful for you because when you're lost in a country where you don't know how to speak the language and you've never really been there before, it's important. I almost fell off a chair. It's important to, you know, to know how to react well to that situation. I'm going to talk about my most embarrassing moment here. <laughs> It was actually the first day I came here, the first few hours I was here, and then some. My most embarrassing story is when I first arrived. Before we go, I'm at the uh, departure orientation camp. It's two days long, basically, and yeah, they serve you dinner and lunch and breakfast, which I never went to breakfast because I know waking up that early, no. <laughs> No. Anyway, so for for CBYXers, it's different. They have to stay with them for like a few more days. They come earlier. But for AFSers, you go there like I think two days before maybe. I don't remember. It was seven months ago. They serve you dinner and you have a room to sleep in. You have a roommate and stuff like that. Anyway, I didn't eat those two days. I mean, I ate, but I think I ate two things and they were really small. Like, I think I had this really, like, one, one twelfth size of carrot cake, and I think I had some coffee, and maybe a little bit of rice with, um, rice with, <laughs> rice with gamuza and nine, with, um, vegetables in it. But yeah, that's basically all I ate, and I couldn't sleep the night that we were, um, staying in the hotel. I just couldn't. My roommate was sleeping, but... Me, I had like a mid panic attack um, the night before, so it was like 4 4 a.m. when I went to bed, and we had to get up at 7, 7 or 8. I just did not sleep either, and the day before I came to the orientation camp, I didn't sleep. And on the plane, which is nine hours long, and you're supposed to sleep on it, it's dark, that's why you're leaving at 7. The plane, I also didn't sleep, like a lot of people just didn't sleep, so I don't really blame myself on that one, but I also did not eat on the plane because fuck eating and I just didn't eat for like three days and I didn't have sleep for three days like good sleep maybe seven hours for three days so yeah it was shit was bad so I didn't notice it at all I'm like oh I'm tired but like you just have an adrenaline rush because it's like oh shit new country oh shit oh shit I was one of the first people to get picked up at the uh, Fr Frankfurt airport. My family was like right there. They asked me, are you hungry? Like, do, are you thirsty? Do you want something to eat? Cause they also want something to eat. So we're at the airport and I'm like, oh no, I'm fine. But, but a Red Bull, that'd be nice. Little do I know that the Red Bull, um, I don't remember what it is, but there's the stuff that makes Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, <laughs> it's higher in Germany than it is in America. I don't know how much higher, but I think that could, that was also what helped to what's about to happen. I drank the whole Red Bull, cause Red Bulls are, you know, really small. And we walk, we walk to the car, and then we're driving the car, and, we're, and I'm talking, we're converse, conversing and stuff like that. And it's like 20 minutes happen, and I'm just talking, we're just, you know, having a good old time. And then like, bam, like, nausea like a motherfucker it was like it was bad like I, i'm like oh shit like oh 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 shit oh shit oh that was one word oh shit just it got really bad and i just like started shaking and like i felt like i was just gonna like vomit like a motherfucker and i never get sick i never like get queasy i have never have car sickness ever and I actually left them with the impression that I get car sickness easily, but I don't. I don't get sick easily at all. And now they're sitting here, and then and then they have they have car sickness pills, but I'm like, it's not car sickness, and I still don't. I'm like, why do, what the fuck do I feel this way? And I think it's because I was to smell the car, because you know I do kind of get 
get car sick, but it's only when I go in my grandma's car, so I'm like, shit, it's, it's the smell of the car. That's why I'm sick or something, because it's a new environment. I don't know, but I'm sick. So they're like, have you eaten? Like, what have, what's going on? Like, have you eaten and what's up? And they're like, and I'm like, no, no, but it's fine, it's fine. And then they have carbonated water and, and pills for car sickness, and I'm like, and it's carbonated water, and I haven't got used to carbonated water yet. I still think it's like disgusting and it makes me feel worse. But I take it, and I take the carbonated water, and I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Anyway, so we pull over, and then I go and lay down, just in like my shirt and pants. I don't have a jacket in it, in it or anything, and it's pretty cold because it's really windy. And I go and lay down um, at the stop that we were at, and they buy me a pretzel and some normal water and I can just barely eat. I have no appetite. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So I just like nibble at it, like not even. And it's just really bad and I get super, just super duper sick. And then basically for the whole two hour ride to our city, to our house, I'm in the fetal position and I just feel like I'm just gonna vomit. We stop two more times so I can lay down. My mom gets me like a blanket and it's really nice and it was like super sweet. And then we finally get home and I'm just, oh fuck. I go to sleep for a few hours, but like they want me to get my schedule like on the German time. They wake me up and then I have a conversation. Like I talk with my mom downstairs while I like slowly drink black coffee. Next day it's just, it's really bad as well. Like I just feel awful. So I got really sick. Probably because I didn't eat for three days and I slept seven hours for a time span of three days. When you're at your orientation, I suggest you eat. I mean, the food's pretty good. So what I had was pretty good, but I was just like, no, I'm not hungry. I'm not, no. Yeah, bye. So I'll see you guys next week. And then we're going to have a month long break. April, we are not going to post anything because fuck it, April. And then we have two months left with you guys, and then we don't post anymore. So yeah, hope you learned something from my horrible experience, and I'll see you guys next week.